Welcome to Just John and April, the relationship podcast, your place for life, love, and laughs. In today's episode, is social media ruining your relationship? <laughs> and the word of the day. Oh, I didn't know that title, actually. <laughs> yeah, you did. We didn't discuss that before. good title, babe. Good. good I'm glad title. you like it. How you doing? I'm good. Please explain to everyone that it's actually warm in here now. Y'all, y'all have been killing me. I mean, I've been getting... <laughs> Uh, text messages, emails, people. Uh, we went back to Atlanta this past weekend, and people saw That's us at church, they about. and they were saying, "Man, put the heat on, man, put the heat on." <laughs> uh, people that I didn't even know were watching the show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, I don't know. It's just not. It's How never gonna be enough heat. For it, me. I just can't get no credit, man. <laughs> the heat is on. The heat on, is on. on the street. The heat ain't on. on. <laughs> yes, it is. It is on. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, it's my, it's my excuse to get close. Oh. Saying, so so nice that's why more. you secretly don't turn on the heat. No, it's because I'm cheap. Anyway, <laughs> so tonight we want to just discuss a little something that is, uh, I think is, it's one of those subjects that everybody in the year 2019 is probably dealing with no matter what their age True. because of the ubiquitous mm-hmm. cell phone <laughs> mm-hmm. that we all have yes, and the fact that almost all of us are on some form of social media. Right. And social media tends to insert itself into our real lives in a way that sometimes maybe some people may think is damaging. Right. I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you my feelings on social media. I would love to hear them. Okay. So fact, I, let me just ask you, how do you feel about social media, man? <laughs> <laughs> I actually really like it. Me too. I think it's great. It's yeah. a great space for you to keep in contact with family and friends. That is true. It's a great, great place. I get most of my laughs from social media. That's true. You do. You know, like when you come home from a stressful I mean, day, you, you just be just going scrolled, through oh, memes. Man. I just love it. I love it. So it's yeah. great. Yeah, I agree. You know, um, it's a great place to chat with people, whatever. Um, but I believe that the thing that bothers me about it, it actually annoys me mm-hmm. a lot, is that it. I think it encourages us to be fake, mm. to pretend. Okay. Um, to play house. Right. You know? Yeah. You know, when you were kids, you would make up things or you would pretend or, you know, have imaginary friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, that was a shot. <laughs> I'm just saying. It, let's, let's be real. It's true. You know? Yeah. Um, You think you have friends. Right. Because your thing says that you have, friends. you know... Yeah. 100,000 followers and right, you're like, right, right. oh my goodness, I'm so popular, you right, know, so, right. yeah. you know, it, it, I think it gives you a false sense of reality. Okay. That's what I think. And, so, it, and, I, and that's what bothers me because it encourages you or us or whoever to put things out there that aren't necessarily true all the way. It's almost like giving half, tr- half truths. Mm. So do you think that the problem is social media or people? Well, I think it's uh, it's definitely people, but I think that um, you know it encourages that it is what it is. That, so here, that's, that's the reality. So here's my question then: mm-hmm. Do you think social media has the ability to insert itself into our relationships? I don't mean just our friend relationships. Mm-hmm. I mean like romantic relationships. Does it have a way of inserting itself in a way that is possibly damaging or harmful to my relationship? Well, I've seen that happening to too. some couples. So yes. yes, I do believe that. I mean, I mean, you could go, you could talk about when couples are having issues, mm-hmm. how somebody gets on and makes a comment as if they're talking to the general public about a specific issue that happens in the world. When you're really talking about whatever what happened, happened to, to you, you and your, and right. you know it when the boyfriend responds, <laughs> 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 which isn't smart. And you know we've seen this right. so many times. Yes, you know I've seen it with. 
you know, children and parent. Mm -hmm. I've seen it with siblings. Mm -hmm. It's just not good. Right. It's not good. You know, and it, it causes all kind. I think it causes extra drama. Right. You know, so I so so I do think it damages relationships. But I think we can go further with this. Mm -hmm. But so I, I, I'm going to ask you. We should say it could damage relationships. It could. Yeah, it could. It, it doesn't. It, the 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 presence of social media doesn't in and of itself damage. No, 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 no. But and that's it not can. what I meant. Yes. Yeah. Right. That's, it, it can. All right. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you need to go ahead and do that now. Trying to get to 1,000 by January yeah, yeah. 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can so, help us. Help us out. So how do you feel? Do you feel like, you know, there are things that are done on social media that can cause conflict in a, in a relationship? Yeah, but it's it, the way I think of it is a little bit different. It goes back to kind of what you were saying about the reality and not reality. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. If you're correct, and I think you are, if social media represents sort of a parallel universe where it's like in this universe everything is perfect or everything is just as I want it to be right, you know right, right, right. I, I can create my own profile and yep. make it look the way I want it to look right. or whatever what I think it actually does for real relation okay so I, I guess the way I should put it is I believe social media relationships represent non-reality <laughs> <laughs> right right and I think that it's confusing to us sometimes if we think that the way that life is on social media is the way my real life is, mm -hmm. then, then I actually think it can affect my relationship. So that mm -hmm. if in my fake social media life, I get everything I want, which I pretty much do, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I might expect that same thing in my real life with my spouse. Mm -hmm. And when I'm not getting it, what I might do is retreat back to social media where I'm in full control. Wow. And I yeah. think that's a real problem. I, I think that social media in that way has the effect of actually eroding our real relationship. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I always find it funny when um, a person feels a certain way about the way that I respond to them or not on social on yeah. like Facebook. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then I have to remind them, yo, we're friends in real life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> I can call you. You know right, what I mean? Right. Right. <laughs> stop right. stop judging your life based on the way I respond to you or don't respond to you mm -hmm. in social media because that's not real. That's okay. not you know what I'm saying? It yeah. can represent some aspect of reality, but it's not the whole picture. You well, know what on I'm that saying? topic, I mean, I've seen I've heard people get upset because, you know, I didn't respond right. at all right. to your picture. Right. And I'm like, Okay, I, I liked it. I looked <laughs> at it. Do I have to press like? Right. You know, do I have to do that for you to know that we're friends and right. I'm, I'm a part of your life. You know, right. it, it's just, I think it, it can turn into something else. I agree. And it actually, I think it starts damaging like self-esteem and self-awareness. I mean, it's I just, agree. it's just a space that's not great for people who might be easily, um, uh, wow, I'm that boring. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so you're, so you're, what, you're, what you're really saying is people who are fragile Maybe. Okay. Needing that approval. Okay. Yes. You know, needing someone to say, you look good. Okay. Or I like that. Yes. Or, or man, you're doing great. Right. You know, right. And, and social media is a place where you can really get that yes. quickly. Yes. Yes. Just by posting a picture. Right. And, and you go back and look and you say, oh man, I only have 70 views, mm. 70 people seen it. Oh, mm -hmm. or, or, ooh, I got 400. Mm -hmm. Oh man, mm -hmm. I, I must be, you know, right, whatever, right, 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 or a thousand right, right. or whatever, you know. Yeah. It's like the more numbers you get, right. the, the better you feel about yourself. You right. feel like, wow, people like me. Right. But, it, but it's very hollow and it's also very fleeting. So like yes. I post a picture, I get 400 responses, and then two days from now, that's not doing anything for me. I need to do something <laughs> you to else. Do something. To, you know it's what I'm saying? so true. That is it doesn't exactly like, what. And, and the reason it's like that is because it's not all the way real. It's right, it's like right. it's like an echo of real life or a or a maybe Ooh, a like caricature that. or you yeah, know, it, it's an echo of real it, it's, life. Yeah, it's not not real. Maybe maybe saying it's not real is not the right way of of characterizing it. But it it's not true. It, it's not all encompassing. No, no, no. But I, I feel like when I say it's not true, not that it's not honest, but it's not true to real life. It's, I mean, it's not tr a trueness. Here's what you know I, what I here, mean? here's you know what the I'm word saying? I want to use. Okay, what word? It's inferior. It's so inferior. so here's the point. Yeah, you can never be fulfilled through social media the way that you can through real life and True. real relationships. True. So what I'm saying is social media gives you something instant. It gives you something that's right away, immediate, boom, I can get this response and it makes me feel good. And it actually probably creates some sort of 
endorphin or some kind of you know it does. internal it body to. chemical that gives me something that I'm that I okay, like. Another question, but for then, you. but then, but then it goes away. And and then I try to get something similar for my spouse, and she's not responding as quickly, and so now I'm disappointed. So I go back to social media. The problem is, what my spouse can give me actually can last a long time. It actually is fulfilling. It's something right. that can sustain me for a while, and so I really should be going after that. But instead of spending my time on my relationship with my wife, I'd rather spend my time on my relationship with my phone <laughs> because right. my phone gives me immediate gratification. Right. See what I'm saying? But I'm actually posting pictures of me and my wife so that people or me and my husband oh, right you, you're <laughs> <laughs> or me and my wife you know? <laughs> so that people will respond right. so i'm not even really uh, uh working on this here right but i'm putting the pictures on there that look like i'm working on this right you know so that's, that's why, a, there really is no why, it's an illusion there really is, is no actual you know, and it, real and relationship. You know what? There's I need no to make clear. Yeah. It's not all everyone. No, and it's not. It's and, not. It's, and it's not the fault of social media. It's you not. Know it's saying? not the fault of social yeah. media. But I'm saying, I think it encourages and it has cultivated this culture right. of people. You're right. It has. Right. So this is the question I have for you. I was okay. saying I had a question. Yes. So do you think that social media can be a place for cheatish behavior? I do. Okay. Now, that's kind of ref- kind of referring to our last episode. True. So, um, yes, I believe it can, it can actually lead to cheatish behavior. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's possible for a person to have an emotional affair, emotional relationship mm-hmm. with someone, and it's easy to do it through social media. Yeah. Um, there are ways that you can follow certain people that you probably shouldn't be following. True. Um, to see stuff you probably shouldn't be seeing. True, true. <laughs> Um, you can slide into somebody's DMs and yeah. you ain't supposed to be doing that. <laughs> you, know be doing that. <laughs> you are right about that. There, there are so many ways to be able to do it. And mm-hmm. I, I feel like um, social media is all about like connecting people. And so it becomes easier to maybe find your high school sweetheart that you haven't yeah, seen in 20 years that you may not yeah. even know where she is. but And then you make a comment about that picture. Yeah. And it's a comment that you would not want your spouse to see. And you probably wouldn't say in real life. You wouldn't say it in real life. No. with this person. Most of the time, things like that that are said, you would not say face to face. I actually it think. It gives you power. It's like a power that you have. Yeah. That, you know, you normally wouldn't have. A, let me say a confidence. Mm. A yeah. confidence that you get. I mean, I have seen people respond, like you know, call folk names and uh, yeah, and, and I mean, will snap back at people, and they would never do that in real, fa- life. In real life. That's true, face to face. I, I I think social media gives you uh, digital courage. It does. <laughs> That's so, it. That's yeah. it. Digital you, courage. You, you guys, like are, you've heard, you've heard the it's saying, true. "Liquid courage." They're talking right. about alcohol and how people will drink it and then they'll have the courage to do something they would never do. Right. Well, I think it's like that with this. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. digital I think, courage. Yeah, that's it. I think social media gives you digital courage to do stuff you would never do. That's why yeah. you see all these crazy things being said all the time on social media. But you put those same people in the same room with each other, they would never say that because no. they can see that person's a human being. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's totally exactly. different. Totally different. So I actually feel like it might bring out something uh, in you if you're in a relationship where you'd be willing to say something to somebody mm-hmm. that you probably would never mm-hmm. say in person, or you definitely wouldn't say if you if your wife was in there with you, right? No, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. No. So I think that yeah. can encourage that. I think. Yeah, I, I, so I, I think, think you should can. be. I think people should be careful with that. Well, let me tell you what I I, th- I think that the reason why some people feel like it's okay and it's not really cheating or in the cheating arena or whatever, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because it's not really real. Like, well, I'm not right. talking to them, right? You know, I'm, right. I'm, this is not really real. Which it's is not, why, which is why I think it's better that we don't say it's not real, and that we say it's inferior. It's an echo of real life, but it does have it aspects real, of reality. It has real consequences. It, re- it does. It has real. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. You see true. what I'm saying? Yes. So it's like when you're typing it and you're just reading it, it doesn't seem real. Right. But then once somebody else reads it right. and asks you about it, right. it becomes real. You're right. You know, that's true. So, so you have to, I think you have to be careful with that. Yeah, you know, you have to not fall into, you know, thinking that, oh, this is not the same thing as if I were, you know, face to face with this person. Even though we know it's an echo of real life and it's, it can never compare to it. I think it's important that we actually have a code of conduct when we are in our relationship yeah. that we have on social media. So I think right, it's good for right. couples to actually discuss areas of things like this where they think it's it's right. a violation of their relationship exactly. 
to do certain things on social media. I agree. I just think we need to be careful. You don't need to put all your business out there That's because true. people who are reading it, they don't care. Yeah. I mean, I'm mean, just be honest with you. Right. Those people, who, you know, it says you have all them friends, and that's not your real friend. Right. It's not. That's They're true. looking at going, ooh, mm-hmm. did you see what so and so put? Mm-hmm. Screenshot, send mm-hmm. it to. I'm just yep. saying. That's true. You know, so you have to be careful. You do. And know that it's just not reality. Okay, so I have an, yeah. another question on a lighter note. Okay. Just a little bit lighter. Um, do you think that there's also an aspect of social media etiquette these days where um, you have to be sure that you do post in certain situations for your spouse? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell me what yes, those are. Yes, what, what, yes. what are the times that you have to post? You have to post a happy birthday. Okay. If it's your you spouse's birthday, you have to do that. I mean, okay. I learned that I have to post a happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Not every birthday, just on uh, big ones. Okay, okay, you know, just like on forty. Free, yes, well, for me. Well, yes, for him, big ones. Right. Uh, but John thinks that thirty-eight is a big one, and I'm like, what? That's not true. That's a big one. He'll be like, yeah, man, I'm about to have my big one. I'm like, aren't you about to be thirty-eight? <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. So, he, all those are big. All all the birthdays are big. Um. Uh, definitely anniversaries. Yes. I think that's I important agree. to post. I agree. You know, you know, these days it, it's it's just part of the culture. It um, is. And it's nice. It's not. It's nice to see a, a picture of, of you and your spouse when you guys were young and in love, and then you post this thing and you put it on and you say how much you love your spouse and happy anniversary, babe, or whatever. That's just a nice gesture. And for people in our age bracket and younger, it almost feels like if you don't do that, it's like how you, how you not gonna get me anything? How, how you gonna forget about? How you gonna forget about my? You Even know. people who try to act like it don't bother them. That's true, April. I think it might. That's true. I a agree little with bit. You. I agree. You know, man, You're they right. didn't post nothing. You right. know, right? <laughs> you know, they didn't post nothing. I, I, I think or, it's. You know, I think it's important. I, I do. I, I do too. And I don't think. And I, I want to make clear. I do not think that if you post, you are being fake. That's not I, what I'm saying. I agree. Okay. I agree. I'm just saying that we know that there are some people who struggle with that. And there are times when there are times when certain things, when they're being posted just don't feel they feel disingenuous they right, feel like right it seems like you're just doing this for attention right. now of course I, I, we can't always judge that correctly we can't but we can't. you know sometimes well, i'm gonna, it just I'm gonna feels say like something that. i'm gonna say something that i might I, I probably shouldn't say but i'm gonna say it we all we can edit it okay no big deal <laughs> we can't edit it out so i really think that sometimes people reveal that something is going on in their lives when they are posting Every second of the day. We're definitely not editing that out. I mean, seriously. Because you're right. Mm -hmm. But I think you have to be careful because sometimes you post stuff that you shouldn't be posting. And and the reason why people have to be careful is because the internet does not forget. No. I mean, I don't care what you do. You can can get rid of it all you want to. But once it's out there in cyberspace, somebody's going to be able to find it. Forever. I know. That's why so sometimes I say careful. some things on here, and I'm like, "Ooh, <laughs> that's true." We we that's are putting this on. We are putting that's this online. There. That's, that's true. it. You're right. You know. That's true. So you got to so think. I, I'm just saying. I think that's important that people consider that before they post, and especially if you're in a relationship, um, think about your significant other before yeah. you post something, and then if you're responding or yeah, or if you're responding to somebody else's thing, <laughs> you're right. You know what I'm saying? Just really? just think think about that and be careful. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Have you ever uh, not liked a comment that I've made? No, on never. Post? Never. I've never had that problem. Now, I have, um, I have seen something before. I'm just talking about me now. I have seen something before on social media and thought to myself, I don't think I'm going to like this. I, I, I might laugh at it and then I'm, oh, I'm not going to like it because if I do, somebody else might see that I liked it and be like, and think that you, Whoa, why is he liking why that? Why is he liking yeah, that? Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like a joke or I've something that's too. like, yeah, I do that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, and, 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 I, and I'm going to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. When I do that, when I make that decision not to do it, I'm usually thinking about you. I'm thinking to myself, mm-hmm. will somebody else think something weird about me and April's relationship because I liked this particular thing? Mm-hmm. So I, you know, to, to me, that's an important aspect of it. I can't just act like I'm by myself. No, true. You know I mean, I have to. I have liked something. And then I'm like, should I have liked that? You know? <laughs> yeah. That dude got his shirt off and right, I'm over right, here talking right, about right, like. Right, right. But I didn't mean it like that. Right, exactly. no, I just meant I like that you lost weight and, <laughs> right, you, right, right, right. Yeah. and you got fit. You right. know? But, yeah. but but seriously, like right. I think I think we have to think about that I do. when it's not just you. Right. That's you true. So. so keep that stuff in mind. Hopefully yeah. that helps you. 
Now it's time for Word of the Day. Word of the Day. We yes, got a good one this time. a good one. Sometimes we get Word of the Day uh, from, you know, the dictionary. And other times it's a little bit more uh, the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> and that's what's happening tonight. Yes. So the Urban <laughs> Dictionary gave us a good word. And the word of the day is bisocial. Bisocial. <laughs> that sounds really weird. What does bisocial mean, babe? Bisocial is when people switch back and forth between talking to real people and being on social media in a social gathering. Wow. Yes. Now, that's that's almost a metaphor for what we're talking about here. Right. I, I believe that there is this thing that we do now all of, all the time where we sort of switch between... You know, the reality, the real reality, and, and then social media social reality. Social media reality. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. that's a thing. Um, it is a thing yeah. all the time. We're yeah. constantly doing we that. We do it all. Yeah. yeah. But, but, I, but I think it's important for us to separate these two and to recognize that they're actually not part of the same world. Mm-hmm. They, they resemble each other, but they're not exactly the same. True. And so uh, if you're really bisocial, like for real, for real, mm-hmm. you'll know that right. social media and that internet life is an echo of real life, True. but it's not the real thing. It's not, uh, it's it's inferior. It is, you know it saying? is. And when people love and like whatever it is, they're not always really loving and liking it. That's true. <laughs> Seriously. You know, they That's might click point. it, but that doesn't mean. That's true. I mean, you know. So we're encouraging you to really be bisocial. Yeah. Learn to separate those two worlds. Right. And try to live in a way so that the social media life does not impact negatively your real relationship and your real life. Thank you, Ben. Thank you very much. We'll we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Thanks for watching Just John and April. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell to be notified about our next episode. See you next time. Bye.